My name is John, I'm a visual designer on Android Auto, and I'm here to show you some of the new features we've been working on and talk a little bit about the redesign. So with the new update, or some of the new features we've been working on, is helping users get started faster. So as you can see, like you're actually automatically started into your maps, and as well, your songs or media are automatically uh, starting. So essentially, you have quick access to your suggested and most recent uh, destination. So as you can see, we can quickly start getting navigated to home because that's kind of where I want to start going. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's five o'clock. Um, and as well, your music starts playing automatically, resuming based off of the last song you're listening to. And it works similar to kind of how a radio works in a car today. You get in, music starts playing automatically. This is a new feature. And so okay. as well, it's, a, it's something in the settings that you can turn off or on because as well, some people have different kind of like music contexts, such as mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm taking my kids to school the next morning and I don't want that song automatically resuming from last time I was playing. Gotcha. Thank you. So that's a setting you can turn off or on. As well as you may notice, this is a new feature down here, which we call the widget. And so this widget allows you quick actions to your other ongoing apps. So per se, if currently right now, I have navigation in the main screen and Spotify playing in the background. So Spotify takes up the rail and it gives you quick actions to adding it to a song to your playlist, you have to play or pause it, or even skipping to the next track. As well, it allows you quick access to switch in and out of apps by pressing the app icon. Now Spotify takes up the main view and navigation is down below showing you your next turn direction. This also extends out to also if you're in a phone call, your phone call will be shown down there. And we'll go here. So now we've also introduced an app launcher, very much similar to your phone and a more familiar way to get to all the apps that are compatible with Android Auto. As you can see, this top row is actually is a recent row. Uh, sorted by category. So essentially it'll show you your most recently used navigation app. That could be Google Maps or Waze. The next two spots are your most recently used media. So that could be Spotify, YouTube Music, maybe a, a podcast app or an, like an audible or uh, audiobook. And the last spot would be a phone, your phone app. So being able to make calls or access to your contacts. And so, as you can see in the app in the app launcher, we also have these special badged apps with that have the assistant icon on them. I'll play one of them right now. Right now in Mountain View, it's 67 and mostly sunny. Today, it'll be clear with a forecasted high of 70 and a low of 53. So these are quick assistant actions, essentially allowing you to use the assistant to do things such as reading your calendar for the day, playing the news, setting a reminder of playing the weather. And so if you're familiar with Android Auto, you may remember it's very like currently today very vibrant. There's giant purple background, kind of crazy. Um, we've also had a giant visual refresh across the system. So we've taken the best of the Google material language and reappropriated it for the driving context. So we've moved to a dark theme. And one of the reasons we did this is because typically when you see the interior of a car, you see a lot of black buttons and a lot of black finishes. So by moving to a dark thing, we have better visual alignment between hardware and software. And so that way your Android Auto feels like it was better made for this vehicle. As well, we begin to update some of the font choices, such as moving to Google Sans, so that way we bring in some more of the Google branding into there. And as well, move from um, condensed Roboto condensed to Roboto regular for better legibility. This also extends out into the phone. I love it when they like lock my door. It's like right in the middle of a demo. <laughs> um, going to your phone, you can also act quickly access your favorites and your most recently made calls. And typically when you're driving, sometimes you're in a context where I can't get to my messages or can't get to a phone call because my attention needs to be on the road. That's where most of my focus needs to be and it might not be an appropriate time to access that content. So that content is saved into this notification bell and if you hit it, this will show you all your most recently made calls and messages <clears throat> as well as providing quick actions to them such as playing them via the assistant IO group chat or as well being able to preview it if you're in a stop state like we are right now. That, that kind of wraps up all the new features we've been working on. We've also begun to improve the experience to work better across taller and wider screens. So if we had a wider screen here, you'd imagine there would be a secondary space that would show your widget actions in an easier to use manner, and as well as secondary information such as time and RSSI. 
Um, but otherwise, this is, these are kind of like all the new features we've been working on and the whole entire visual refresh we've been, uh, we're super stoked about. But essentially, all these new features and updates will be coming later this summer. And you won't have to do anything with updating your head unit or anything because everything will be updated via the app.